If you're in the business of automating door openings in either new construction or retrofit applications, you already know that wireless activation holds the promise to dramatically slash your installation costs. Although there are installations where wireless is not recommended, let's start by talking about those applications where it may be impossible or impractical to run wires. Firstly, Wireless is often used to avoid running ugly surface wiring conduit over cinder block or brick walls. This can also be the case if a building has historical or architectural significance and the installer is not allowed to run surface wiring. Next, wireless will be your best option if your project requires you to run wires under concrete or if there's trenching involved. In these applications, a wireless solution may be the only way to install an activation switch or to avoid paying thousands of dollars in labor costs. Of course, sometimes it's not even possible to run wires to a switch. For example, a lot of storefronts now have a minimum of architectural framing and large glass panels. Wireless allows you to install a switch virtually anywhere, including glass. The reality is that every installer is faced with the decision to either install a wireless solution or walk away from the sale. However, smart installers know that wireless systems offer a lot more potential to build their business and profitability. This is especially true when it comes to retrofit applications when installing door automation in an occupied building. Simply put, the advantage of wireless is that it takes all of the guesswork out of the project quotation and protects your profitability. Using wireless, you don't have to gamble on being able to run a wire from point A to point B. You know exactly how much it's going to cost to physically mount the equipment, enroll the transmitters, and set the receiver to its default operation. Of course, the advantages of wireless can also apply to new construction because of the money you save on labor. While wireless devices are more expensive than equivalent hardwired devices, the savings from reduced labor costs make a wireless installation up to 40% less than a wired installation. With so many advantages, you might expect wireless installations to far exceed wired ones, but that's not the case. This is because the low cost of a wireless installation has historically been lost to the high cost of poor performance and annual battery maintenance. The good news is that installers today can leverage wireless door activation to lower their installation costs without a high cost of maintenance. Let's start by looking at the wireless technologies and product designs that are available in the market. To do that, we need to first recognize that there are two very different types of wireless door activation systems being installed in buildings. Access control systems with Wiegand receiver outputs connected to a panel and automatic door systems that have a relay receiver output. It's important to understand this distinction because wireless activation systems for automatic doors are designed to enable door access, not restrict it, and are simply not designed for security applications. Although we won't be reviewing them in this video, Camden also offers a wide selection of wireless products for access control applications. For more information, please give us a call or visit our website. When we think of wireless, we immediately think of wall switch transmitters, but ADA-compliant 1, 2, or 4-button key fobs are often employed. These fobs have raised buttons and are an important part of our service to people with disabilities. With the advent of COVID-19, we are also seeing a proliferation of no-touch wireless switches in the market. The biggest concern with battery-powered no-touch switches is short battery life. While some brands advertise long battery life, Reading the fine print will reveal that the battery life claim is built on slow response times or a low number of activations. Camden's SureWave line of no-touch switches feature the fastest response time and up to four years of battery life at 100 activations per day. Selecting a wireless system can support different types of transmitters. All supported with the same large capacity receiver will enable you to support more customer inquiries with the least amount of inventory. When choosing a wireless solution, it's also important to understand different radio frequencies and how they will affect system performance. Looking at the market, you'll see a wide range of wireless frequencies being offered. Most, by far, are low-cost fixed-frequency transmitters working in the 300 to 400 MHz range. While lower-frequency transmitters work fine over short distances in wireless-friendly applications, they just can't match the performance and reliability of 900 MHz or 2.4 GHz wireless systems. 
This is because a higher frequency range transmitter has less chance of a competing wireless signal, is able to propagate through materials better, is less prone to electromechanical interference, and the higher power transmission can provide much longer range. The introduction of spread spectrum or frequency hopping wireless technology that Camden helped popularize saw a big step forward in system performance because it virtually eliminated poor wireless communications due to building materials and EMI interference. Another huge benefit of spread spectrum technology is that it can actually adapt to changing building conditions after the installation is complete. If the signal cannot be received due to a change of floor plan or the addition of an electrical appliance, transmission over multiple frequencies often avoids the need for a service call. Once you've selected the best wireless technology, it's time to look at product design. The wireless receiver you select will impact your inventory, the range of applications you can support, and how quickly you can finish the job and move on to the next one. Camden has designed our wireless receivers to support up to 40 transmitters and have built-in door control that avoids the need to buy a separate control sequencer. They are also designed to get you off the job faster with a range of features including signal strength indication and automatic enrollment. With the short battery life that many installers have experienced, it's no wonder that some will still view wireless systems as simply deferring a lower installation cost with a much higher cost of long-term maintenance. Camden's LaserPoint RF family of spread spectrum battery-powered wireless products changes that by eliminating the need of annual maintenance, with up to four-year battery life and up to 100 activations per day to provide the lowest possible cost of system ownership. Unfortunately, there is another aspect to battery power that no device manufacturer has been able to completely eliminate to date, and that is battery disposal and landfill. Happily, there is a new wireless technology that Camden has just brought to market that offers all the advantages of a low-cost installation with no maintenance costs and no hazardous waste going into landfill. Camden's new kinetic power harvesting technology uses the mechanical energy of activating the switch to generate an electric pulse, and that electric pulse is enough power for the switch transmitter to send a wireless signal to a receiver. Although this is new technology, the reliability of the wireless performance has been proven in the consumer markets. For example, Home Depot is currently selling a wireless power harvesting light switch. Camden Kinetic No Battery Wireless Switches have the potential to revolutionize the automatic door market because they offer the reliability of a hardwired activation switch with over 3 million cycles. Remarkably, these no battery wireless switches also have the same range as a battery-powered wireless switch, up to 300 feet. You can now purchase Kinetic No Battery Wireless Switches in virtually any standard push plate switch configuration, from narrow switch, 4.5 round or square switch, 6 inch round or even 36 inch tall column push plate switch. No matter which type of push plate switch you select, Camden offers a kinetic model ready for your order. For more information about Camden's industry leading LaserPoint RF battery powered wireless systems and kinetic no battery wireless systems, visit our website at camdencontrols.com or call us today.